Virgo. What's up, cousin? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Virgo between now and the end of June? <laughs> Are you guys in this space of independence? You really feeling yourself? Money looks damn good, and you getting everything in which your heart desires. Y'all receiving them blessings on blessings. <laughs> Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss. So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can further assist you without cussing. Because me, I'm going to do that, all right? To all of the returning subscribers, you guys. Um, Hey, familia. What's popping? What the hell y'all been doing? <laughs> to the new subscribers, welcome to the family wheel of dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We grow. We love. We enlighten. We share positive vibes only up in here, okay? We're one big happy family. Thank everybody for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the everything, guys. The support, period. I humbly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. As we continue to grow, I continue to cry and be, you know, really just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, you know. Um, but I ain't gotten better with actually keeping up with how many damn people is a part of my family. Because, you know, few of y'all didn't have to tell me, Mocha, congratulations on the 5K. <laughs> See, remember some of y'all with them moments? <laughs> And I was like, oh, shit, I got 5K. Oh, shit, I got 10K. Oh, shit. You know, so thank you, guys. <laughs> Virgo, you guys have been one of my top supporters since day one, gang, gang. So thank you so very much, all right? You guys, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description, okay? I currently have a special going on. Go check out the community tab. So it's not going to resonate with everybody. Take what does, leave the rest, all right? Um, if that motherfucking shoe is too big and you're trying to put it on and make it fit you, your ass going to fall. So, you guys, please feel free to listen to your sun, your moon, your rising, as well as your Venus sign and see what resonates with you better, all right? Let's get it. So, for mid-month, June, <laughs> what I got for Virgo intuitively was alliance, perspective, renewal of love, evaluation, accountability, life cycles, independence, authenticity, spiritual union, Sudden wealth, abundance, a dodged a bullet, <laughs> allowance, self worth, life purpose, awakening, releasing toxic attachments, the truth. Okay? So, you guys, if those intuitive messages did resonate with you, this is definitely your message, okay? Over our energy around the reading, I have the nine of clubs, okay? So, a lot of you guys could be focusing on your independence, focusing on your money. I'm hearing uh, entrepreneurship, so some of you guys could be starting a business. First message that you guys got from the angels for this month, you guys, you guys got breathe from Archangel Raphael, okay? So, I definitely feel some type of energy, some type of healing or clearing around the heart chakra during this time, but the message you guys got was take several deep breaths. And exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns, okay? I'm also hearing retrograde. So this Mercury retrograde did go into cancer today. Um, so because of that, you guys expect communication. Expect just to continue to release uh, unhealthy attachments, a relationship, situationships, jobs, anything that makes you feel this sense of anxiety. There is um, a need for you all to definitely also be receiving and open up your heart space, Um there's a need for you all to know not to try to control the situation as well. Allow the divine intervention I'm hearing, okay? So for the next card you guys got, Victory! Some of you guys could have received some type of spiritual, um, some type of esoteric information from the from another realm. Some of you guys could also have the ability to astral travel, but I do see some type of receiving to the crown chakra during this time. Whatever information that you're receiving, spirit is saying, breathe, do not sit and ponder so damn long, but actually act on it, okay? It's, it's about movement during this time, Virgo, and when, when you move, you will be victorious, okay? This victory card comes from Archangel Sandifon. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So this is about um, faith greater than the size of a mustard seed, okay? So it's not about what's not happening. Don't see what's not happening or don't see the negatives in any situation. Open up your heart to receive and just have this knowing, okay? It's your belief. You guys are visionaries. It's your belief that actually brings the harvest into your world, okay? I am hearing definitely harvest. So some of you guys could also be tending to a garden during this time. Some of you guys could also be connecting to your ancestors. They want you to know that they are hearing you. They do send you love. They also are assisting you on your path uh, of abundance, okay? So you definitely have, and some of you guys, this is about releasing the fear of being by yourself. All right? So let's get it. 
Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Virgos, my cousins? In love. Get my jewel. Oh. Alright. So you guys got first. Number 33. Whoa. Synchronicities. Okay. This damn computer. This little web can't. YouTube be pop. When I go live, I can see shit better, but it's a pretty gloomy day. I'm going to ask for Brother Rock. Brother Rock, could you please come shine on us, please? <laughs> for this Virgo reading, we need this light and this sunshine. Thank you. All right. You guys actually got four cards. First one being 33, synchronicity. So some of you guys could be seeing synchronicities of 333. Some of you guys also may be finding feathers during this time. It is connected to your ancestors as well as things coming into harmony or uh, harmonious outcomes as well. The next card you guys got is number 16. Whoa. There are drastic changes in my life right now, okay? So I definitely feel like for some of you all, some of y'all could also be uh, be seeing three through three. Some of y'all could also be finding out that someone, you or another person in your energy is pregnant, okay? And this is about the number seven being the number 16. Root number seven. Seven is about wisdom, information, receiving information, esoteric information. Some of you all, it's about trusting the synchronicities of your dream patterns, things that people... Things that keep coming towards you or ideas that keep coming to you uh, via different people, different sources on your path. In most cases, it's time for you to pick the damn phone up and answer the call, Virgo. Answer the call. I'm going to get the bill. Okay? You guys, a lot of y'all jumping off the damn cliff though. All right? Number 34 with the next, with, no, I'm sorry, it's your next card. All right? Some of you guys could be in a relationship where you're dealing with a man here with two women. Okay? This could be someone from the past here. And this could definitely be you. For some of you all, you feel as if um, what you're actually coming to terms with within yourself, and I'm actually seeing this is number 34 again, root being number 7. Some of you guys are being enlightened, being enlightened regarding some, some connection with someone from their past, okay? For some of you all, this is about you not being able to move from your past, but this card says, I'm with them, but thinking about you, okay? So for some of you all, this definitely has to do with possibly being in a relationship and feeling as if there was some type of missed opportunity, either you or your partner, okay? This could also have to do um, with someone from your past. And I'm also seeing for some of you all, this could be someone who you've known since youth or who you had children with. Last card you guys got, 46, baby, abundance. I have a, I have a home in the heavens. Abundance, okay, for some of you all, I'm seeing this is spiritual abundance. For some of you all, Spirit is wanting you to receive the abundance that is being bestowed unto you. You can only miss the opportunity if you don't make a move to actually be optimistic and accepting this in your life, okay? Or if you don't make the move and actually follow the synchronicities, okay? And in doing so, some of y'all may actually have to end the cycle in order to receive your abundance, okay? Some of y'all got some leeches around you. I don't know why I'm hearing snakes. Some of y'all could be dreaming about snakes. Having to do with the perception being shifted uh, regarding the people in your life. Some of you guys could be enlightened um, and putting like putting yourself in a situation or being in the, in the center of a situation, kind of like being the eye of the storm. Being in the center of a situation and kind of seeing things from a different perspective and feeling as if, listen, if I want to protect my abundance, I have to free myself, okay? All right, so Virgo, I'm also feeling the need for you guys to not feel this energy of being rejected or uh, feeling cast aside. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my Virgos in love? Yeah, some of you guys could be dealing with the sign of Pisces, okay? Or some of you guys could be feeling stuck or trapped in a situation. You're making a judgment call for some of y'all to release yourself. And some of you guys have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person could be younger than you. You're making a, some of y'all making a judgment call. This person could be making a judgment call to release themselves from a situation, okay? Others of you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person could be stalking you or you this person. Truth is going to be revealed about it. It will be illuminated here. For others of you, you could be going. Some of y'all could be receiving some type of message or having someone go through your phone. If you're dealing with a fire sign or an air sign, this person may go through your phone during this time. And I feel like this person doesn't want to be the bad guy, but both of you guys feel trapped in the situation. Somebody want to go back to their ex and someone is optimistic about their future because they've outgrown a person and they're tired of the defensiveness. For others of you, again, here you go again, baby. And it ends with my Virgo card, all right? Virgos, you guys are going through some type of awakening or some type of ascension here. It, it, it looks like here this revolves around letting go, self-worth, and control for some of you all. Some of you guys are dropping your burdens when it comes to a defensive ass fire sign. Listen, you want to fight what the hell I'm trying to manifest? Fuck it. Bye. That way, all right? 
for some of you all, this is about going in your bubble, going in your bubble, finding your inner wisdom, looking at cycles that are repetitive, looking at cycles, looking over cycles that are continuous, okay? For some of you all, this is about you taking this period of solitude and in doing so, manifesting your damn coin. Some of you guys, the coin comes with walking away from something. And some of you guys could possibly have a new opportunity to resurrect something that you thought was dead, okay? Some of y'all could also be dealing with the sign of uh, Scorpio. But I definitely feel like someone someone could possibly definitely be cutting off a marriage or commitment, okay? Or someone could be com communicating with someone, look, this is what the fuck I want. This is what I want, this new beginning. So if I have to walk away from your ass to get it, by damn it, I'll do that. And this is not about being sneaky, being deceptive, but sitting your ass on that damn couch and telling the motherfucker here, look here, I need new. I need new. Because this is how you make me feel. Some of you guys are feeling rejected, possibly by someone who you have a child with, or someone who you have children with is feeling rejected by you. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo. And for some of you all, you feel as if someone was chosen over you. Some of you guys could also be dealing with the Libra. But there could be something going on with the Libra. Um, someone could be cutting off a damn Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But to others of you, this is some type of attachment, marriage, deal, contract. Some of y'all could actually be ending collaborations with other people and choosing to move independently by your damn self. But you're leaving conflict. You're leaving heartbreak. You're leaving this shit. And for some of y'all, it's involving a damn Sagittarius. There is love in this situation, but some of y'all could definitely be running to love from running to a love from your past that ain't got their shit together. And now this person actually wants to express this love to you. Some of y'all, this person could be a cancer. For some of you all, it could be um another water sign, Pisces, Scorpio. Others of you it could definitely be this damn King of Wands here, Aries, Leo. But someone is moving away from a situation because they want love. They're moving towards love and passion. Somebody got a two-for-one special. And because you break free from toxic situations, attachments that is not on the same level of you, uh, on the same level, or assisting you moving forward within your growth, spirit blesses you. Jupiter blesses you. You escape the illusion. Congratulations. It's time to motherfucking graduate, bird. Oh! All right, so this is what I have for you guys in love. Uh, this is the message I have for you guys for the mid month of June. I love you all. I will see you guys again for the for the uh, July messages. Y'all forgetting the damn months. I'm trying to get my ass to this beach so fast, you, <laughs> but I'm just kidding, you guys. I love y'all a long time. If you need that personal, give me a boo. Peace, love, light, and namaste. Bye, y'all.